guys. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Of revenge and death. It's down at the end of Pearl Street. Conservative believes there was a protest outside of the Phoenix College. Those hipsters. Do you think that, um, with the Elvis outfit? Does, no. Stance again? Well, can you, at the very least, do the rectifier thing out? So now you're an Elvis, and so really it's a tomato tomato. I bless you in the name of Lucifer. From Jamaica? We're from Jamaica, man. We're part of the bobsled team, man. I'm the king of the world, man. <laughs> Yes, she has. I believe in Santa Claus. Why? Because he exists. I am a fighter and Americans. Dude, sorry. Sorry. Calm down. All right. Dude, you got to be careful with that. Are you all right? You no okay. fun. Hi, I'm Richard Mullinax. I am the director of this film about Jonathan the Impaler Sharkey, who is a Satanist witch vampire who's running for the presidency of the United States. After seeing him for the first time, I just couldn't help myself. I mean, look at him. He's Steven Seagal with a cape. So I decided to get a few people to help me out. Some of them are actors, some of them are not. My goal was just to make Jonathan Sharkey's life a living hell. Now I could tell you who are the actors and who are not, but that would totally take the fun out of it. My name is Bradley Summers. Hi, I'm Bradley Summers, resident in Boy for the Fighting Twinks Coalition in Cleveland, and I love to party. What? I had to stretch. I want to be ready. My name is Jonathan the Impaler Sharkey. Jonathan Sharkey, how to, how to, what, what to say about him? He is an absolute doll of a man. He is darling. He's handsome. He's got beautiful eyes. He seems very strong, independent, compassionate, intelligent. My father was actually gay and was born with a partial right arm. Was he out? My father had sex with a man under Woody Mae before he had sex with her. <laughs> I can promise your people this. They will have no greater friend in the White House when I get elected to their cause and protecting them than me. I love 90% of what you're saying. Okay. Believe me. I mean, it's a breath of fresh air. It's everything that we want to hear. But you've said your community a few times. Uh, the vampire community I also talk about. When I say my community, when I say your community, yeah. I mean the gay, lesbian community. I, when I say my community, I'm meaning vampires and witches and pagans. I was under the impression that you were also gay. It would seem to me that Mr. Sharkey may have interest in the plumbing or the appearance of a woman. But when it comes to the sentiment of love and emotions and the ability to connect with another person, he's really seeking out another man. You don't know what it's like for us. You guys, you know, you're walking around with your cloak and your, you know, badass hairy shoes, and you feed on people's blood. That's, you know, people are afraid of that. Us, we get beat up, 
Have you ever been burned at the stake? Bradley, what do you think of Jonathan being uh, a person, I, the, the, he being the impaler, being a guy who impales? Well, I would like it if he impaled me. Vampires are either by blood like I am, or they're turned. And I've actually turned women into from mortals to vampires, vampire. I mean, I've had people try to put a wooden stake through my heart. I've been stabbed. I can show you the scar. I would love to see it. How many men have you turned? No, because none have ever asked me to turn. Why can't you train? I am an elder. I, you know, I mean, you know what that means. Okay, I feel comfortable with like, you. I feel comfortable okay. with you. We've argued. I'm a bitch, so that's bound to happen. I feel comfortable with you. I would like you recovery. to convert me. You want me to turn you? I feed on donors or people that I know and trust because there's, you know, you're drinking straight blood. Right. And I'm negative. Well, so I, get, I, I, get, I get tested every six months. I, I probably should. Every three. I should probably up it, as I was about to say. I'm negative. You can trust my blood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, give me a go. Where do you, neck, arm? I, when I feed, it's usually on the arm or on the neck, but I do not feed just for the sake of feeding. It's a good forearm. Correct. I am attracted. To some people, yes. I mean, you're not that big enough. Thank you. I'm not hungry right now. You're not, you're not hungry. Right. I thought I'm just that saying, that. you know, I'm seeing a nipple or something. It isn't done that way. And I will not do it on camera. Are you not doing this because you don't know I'll like it in the other way? You know, am I not good looking enough? Is there something wrong with me? It was, you know, are we not good enough for him? You know, why wouldn't he? I mean, if you look, I offered him both my neck and my forearm, the underside. And I, I don't see where you're going to get much better than that. So, of course, I took it a little bit personally. Is, do you have it? Fine. When we are done here, I will give you my number, and you can contact me, and I will hook you up with the cup. I am not breaking my bylaws for anybody. That is a no-no. You need to learn our laws if you seriously want to be brought across. This is not a joke. This is not a game. I know it's, it's a not a joke. New lifestyle. The last three people I've gotten into a fight with, one's dead, the other's paralyzed, and the other I kicked his skull in. You're threatening me now. I feel threatened. If you feel threatened, you may leave now. Because I will not deal with somebody who feels threatened by my community or being I don't feel here. I don't feel threatened by your community. I feel threatened now that you're talking about fighting well, people and hurting. You people. will become aggressive as a vampire. You will develop animal tendencies. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We would accept you if you accepted us. Amateurs. I mean, I thought the interview went well. Uh, the only thing, it came to a shock to me too to find out that Jonathan wasn't gay. I mean, the guy puts on so much makeup, I mean, you think he's Liza Minnelli. Pita and hummus chips salat and some tzabich on the Falafel be pita im hummus chip salat im sabich tzat milamala. Sorry, we don't understand what you're saying. Falafel hummus. 
Can I get some hummus? Some, some hummus, large hummus. What did you say? A large hummus. No, uh, I don't want super size. It's just large. I just wanted some hummus. I can have some hummus and a small coke. Some hummus? Mm -hmm. Why not? All right, I'm sorry. Who doesn't have hummus? Americans. Hello, my name is Nick Hassan. I'm the production assistant on this uh, project about Jonathan the Impaler Sharky, and uh, I'm very proud to be a part of this. I will personally try, convict, torture, beat, impale this member, decapitate Bush, and drink his blood at the same time as he's dying, and spit it in his face. If you are an illegal coming across my borders, you better pray that my death dealers do not get you first. Because if my death dealers get you, you will be sent back to your country in a bag. It, does this include if it's women and children? Yes. Excuse me. Oh, my agent. I need to talk to you. I have a problem with the documentary. I'm getting ready to quit. Because these bitches are always late. This is pissing me off. The producer has apparently no control over it. Um, any chance you could talk to the producer and put a fire under his ass? His name is Richard. Hang on. My agent wants to talk to you. Okay. Hello? Death dealers. Tell us about them. Tell them what they do for you and how it got started. Okay, the death dealers are a page from my vampire side. Death dealers are protectors of the vampire elders, along with protectors of the coven. My death dealers are all either former special forces, seals, or commandos. If anybody was ever in a position to want to take over the world, I am. Do you feel you could take over the world? Absolutely. Jonathan called me and told me that I had to hire some girl that he fell in love with off of MySpace. Um, wasn't crazy but the idea. He wanted her to be his personal makeup artist. Uh, I didn't know what to do, but... Um, I figured, what the heck, uh, go ahead and hire her, you know, what could it hurt? Um, how did you meet Jonathan? Uh, I met Jonathan just browsing on MySpace, so I sent him a message going, hey, you look, you seem really interesting and we have some similar interests, would you want to talk and get to know each other? And he sent me a message back saying how beautiful I was and um, so kind of just started going from there. Uh, my seer truly feels that I will become the leader of this great country in 2012. Many in the witch community who have the gift of prophecy feel that as well. How will you take down certain criminals? Will it all be through impaling or will it be through other methods as well? Um, impalable offenses hold on. are... Jonathan, hold on, I'm sorry. Rick, you know what? Hold on. You promised I could pray if I needed to, and I've been waiting for a call all day. I don't get it. I gotta fucking pray. We'll take five. Okay. Go ahead. Get it wrapped up. Let your mind go. Let the liquid liner dry. Okay. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Right. I don't know what, but... Oh, yeah. I'm not seeing a picture. I'm doing the best I can. Oh, I know. I, I actually like it better this way. Yeah, no way. 
It's, it's, it's like a cat eye. Are you done? For now, yes. I, I apologize. I, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember. Um... No, it, it's fine. I will stand sword to sword, shoulder to shoulder with any American fighting trooper where Bush won't. Do you have fencing skills? I, my mother taught me about swords, but I don't fence with the skinny thing I use. I will not cheat on a woman, she better not cheat on me. What will happen if she cheats on you? Quitting in sync. Bye bye bye. Tell us about your fetish for younger girls. What do you mean fetish? Well, you do like to date younger females, is that correct? Of late, it's always been the younger females that, especially when I was dating Roger, that are showing the maturity to a point in the beginning that would make me want to pursue a relationship with them. When I dated Todd, she stalked me for over a year. I was quite impressed with that. First time she stalked me, she was 17 and got a hold of me and I told her, when you turn 18, contact me. Well, once she turned 18, she actually did contact me. So that was kind of, wow, a year later you still wanted me? Okay. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, she was beautiful and she was nice, but, you know, she unfortunately had certain issues. What was the youngest girl you have dated? Fifteen. Um, Fifteen. And how old were you at that time? This was last year. I was 43. Have you uh, ever been involved in the WWE? Um, have you ever worked with any of... I was an instructor in 1995, 96, and 97. One of the first students that I trained was Dwayne Johnson, better known as The Rock. However, unlike The Rock, I still get into the wrestling ring. He's just purely Mr. Hollywood, where I still like booting up and stomping uh, people's heads into the mat. Seeing that Jonathan has so much experience in wrestling, I decided to ask him if he would go ahead and train me. Uh, man, did that go well. You think you know what to do in that ring? You think you're a wrestler? Why don't you try me? The what? holiest of kings. Trash. You got the guts, Richard? Or is it Ricky? <laughs> or even beat somebody such as Mike Tyson or Lance. I'd knock that bitch out. Being the professional boxer that he is, Jonathan decided to show us his superior skills.
but this is what it really looked like. I move quicker than most people. I would say I am even stronger than most mortals, well dang people. I hope I do a good job for him. You think that's clean enough? Looks about right. Alright, alright, let's go. I am able to withstand conditions that the normal human cannot. What are you putting on him? Vaseline? Is that so it doesn't hurt so much when you... Yeah, he's a bit chapped. Pretty winded there, guy? Oh, me? I'm yeah. pretty good. You alright? Yeah. Give you a workout, though? No. How long do you think it would take you to knock him out? About 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Bradley Summers could have kicked his ass. Definitely. He definitely could have kicked his ass. How long do you think it would take you to knock that guy out? Um, if it was a real section fight, I'd knock him out with the first two rounds. That guy, you, you're pretty sure you could you could beat him. Sure. Yeah. Notice who was wearing the headgear and who wasn't. Give me a full muscle. See, America, do you want to build your future in the sand with some old man or woman? Or do you want to build it out of 100% American muscle? Jonathan told me that he, he, he figured he could if they actually had a real sanctioned fight, he could probably knock that guy out in about two rounds. Jonathan, I don't know, might want to stop hitting the bottle so much before something like that because <laughs> I gotta tell you, he's completely out of his mind. You're talking about a, a pro over there who, now, who's it, playing with. He he said he said that the guy was hitting him pretty hard. Would you how as far as uh, zero to one hundred percent? Fifteen to twenty percent. Jonathan should probably understand that it was. Uh, he was very lucky it wasn't a shanks in a good fight because it might have lasted maybe, the over and under might have been 30 seconds of Jonathan getting knocked out. This is a witch's ball. Um, the woman Staskov was supposed to be supposedly a witch in the area. And when she died, they buried her standing up so she wouldn't lie to rest. What do you think? Do you think, like, the... the I feel the that if they did it to keep her spirit here, that a spirit is an energy, and an energy does produce heat. It's a piece of rock. But can you explain how, then, it's frozen here and not over here? Now, she said... She said I feel heat. Is there steam coming off of it? Yeah, it's warm here. Feel. Show me where the heat is, because I'm trying to feel it. Yeah, it's definitely a lot warmer here. Can I ask you an honest question? I'm being sure. honest, and I have to be the skeptic. Okay. okay. 
Do you think maybe it's more in your head than it is reality? Um, Both she's of you. not part of the documentary. Now, she's a side man. Mass hysteria. No. Two people feel it. Three, four, five. I mean, I mean I'm just being honest. Cause I, I'm seriously, I'm not, I, I guess you could say I'm not But feeling, you're cynical. And I have to be. You're not open-minded. Well, no, I think you could be cynical. You're, you're coming into it, I think, with a negative thing like this can't be real. Maybe there's like a nuclear silo underneath. <laughs> hey, I actually think the Washington Monument is truly a nuclear missile on the ground. Yeah. Just to the weaker side and the stronger side. That can be the way she's facing. This is the way that she's not facing. Or like energy that way. I also didn't get any accounts. I searched high and low for this guy who could play a vampire hunter. I couldn't find anybody. Um, but then I actually, I, I found someone, I, I went to get some stuff done at Kinko's and there's a guy, very helpful and nice, long hair, kind of rugged looking. You know, I asked him if he wanted to be a part of this documentary and kind of lurk in the shadows and see if he can intimidate Jonathan and uh, yeah, he was all for it. Vampire hunters, are they real? Yes. Okay, okay. why are they real? Or how? How? You give, give me an explanation. Give me something. They, they hunt vampires. Have you ever fought with a vampire hunter? Can you give me a name? Anything? Like, if I fought with a vampire hunter, I can guarantee you they're dead, so I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. But there are several, you know, you can actually go on the internet and, you know, look at them. There's actually, on YouTube, vampire hunter training uh, videos. <laughs> Be gone, demon! Be gone! Be gone, demon of hell! Dana, please. Hey, how are you doing, Jonathan? You guys have a great shop here. And, uh, you know, are you, um, you playing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they already get some of the, uh, the, the hang stand by Rick Worthy. Jonathan, why did you pick uh, Guitar Center today? Because when you want the best in musical equipment, you go to the best place to get it. And as far as I'm concerned, Guitar Center is the best place to buy your accessories for your musical career. Habib! Michael. Habibi. What the fuck? Voila. 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 Just next time take it out of the room though, okay? Yet again, we had Nick disrupt Jonathan. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to keep this up because Jonathan is at the brink of exploding. What did you think of the witch's ball and just the whole... The witch's ball was great. Um, like I said while I was there, I felt energy in a warmth type... Um, in... A warming sense, though it wasn't burning hot. Uh, when Veronica told me she felt it on top of the ball, Is there I didn't I agree. Go, right? I'm really quick. I'm sorry. Jeez. Okay, now that I'll leave the room. I'll leave the room. Go out. All right. I'll leave the room. Back. I, have, I have to go. I have to go get my mat. Can I just leave this stuff here and you can get back? Take it with you because okay. you don't need to be in here anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. It was a good phone call. I'm happy. Well, I'm happy for you, but this is come on. Come on. Be happy for us. Let us, let us finish. Let us wrap. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later. Yep. Okay, I'm rolling. Tell us your thoughts on Nick Hassan.
it is going just as I hoped. This documentary is about me, not about him. He works for the company. He was totally disrespectful. And the way he's getting all hyper and upset left me no other choice but to inform the United States Secret Service that I feel I am dealing with a loose cannon who happens to be a Muslim. Now, I have been threatened numerous times by Muslim extremists, and how do I not know that Nick is affiliated with them? So I have formed Secret Service, and Secret Service in Washington, D.C. has been well aware if Nick tries anything with me, I will snap his neck like a toothpick and be done with him. It's almost to the point where either he goes or I go. And I am the star. And the star goes where he wants to go. Hey guys, can one of you ask? What? You can, can one of you ask Dan if I can bring inside, please? In the bathroom, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. I'm gonna watch him. I'm gonna pray in the bathroom. Okay. This is becoming unreal. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. I thought you told him to go to the bathroom. The morning ritual of the vampire. All over my face. Wonder, you know, my beads are great with each other. Beauty secrets of the vampire. And my eyebrows are like my natural color. Mascara. Tell me what you told me yesterday about Nick and the Valentine's Day dinner that we'll be doing uh, later. Well, to be perfectly honest, I am a romanticist at heart. And I do find Veronica very attractive and appealing. And I told you, if he effed up my date with her, my first date, especially because you never get a second chance to make a good first impression, I would kill him, without a doubt. His body would never have been found. At one point you talked about having a sex change operation. No, I never said sex change operation. Whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. Castration is totally different than sex change. I'm sorry. Um, I know you're a sorry person at times. Okay. So why don't you talk about why you wanted to be castrated? See, my, my ex-fiancé slash girlfriend, Peter, from Speedway, Iraqi, Anna, literally drove me to the point where, though at times when she was drunk, especially one occasion, she literally tried to rip my testicles off. I do have the scars on my testicles to prove that. I'm not going to show it. This is a, hopefully a PG, if worse, R-rated movie. But, you know, since she wanted to literally just destroy my life and take away my manhood, I actually had it arranged down in Florida to be castrated and I was gonna actually send her you know in the bottle uh, formaldehyde bottles penis and my boss and say here you wanted some bad you can have it I ra I rather be in it than ever sleep with Peter again I am so bad that I would screw a skirt I mean a broom with a wig and a skirt on it Barack Obama is a bitch. Okay. A racist bitch. And why do you feel Barack Obama is a racist bitch? Because, you know, in his book he says, well, you know, being growing up and going to school as a black man 
Well, yeah, okay, your father was black, but your mom was white. You were baked in a white oven. You know, you were delivered out that white oven. I figured since Jonathan is going to have to relate to different people if he's going to become president, I figured I would let him talk to someone very different, more urban. So I had him talk to a black rights activist, and, uh, oh, it was a nightmare. Hello, my name is Dr. A. John Walker. Um, I organize Cleveland Zone Black on Black Youths Stop the Violence. First off, my name is Jonathan Neon Taylor Sharkey. I hold a PhD in political science. I am also a sanguinarian vampire, which means, yes, I am a blood feeder. I am also a Hecate witch. I follow the goddess Hecate. I am also an ordained satanic dark priest. I can't say the word. It is satanic dark priest. And I am the 2008 BWP party's presidential candidate. One thing I strongly realized growing up in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which is a city that deals with crime, a lot of crime, considering that there are a lot of families now, 50% of my research rate, that are single parent families. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the father is not always around. All black families are single parent families? No. Okay, so but no, 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 not all. But most black people don't get married because they want to stay on welfare. I don't, what believe, that, I don't believe that uh, majority of the people are welfare. The government will reward me if I sit on my butt and I don't get married. If I get married, then that means that they cut all the subsidies off. And it seems like you're saying the whole reason why there's crime is because single-parent families, and it seems as if the highest ratio of single-parent families come from African Americans. No, it does not. That's what I thought you said. Sean. No, sir. I don't feel comfortable. You worship in Haniki. Or it's Hecate, please. Do you even believe in separation of church and state? Yes, I do. If somebody wants to follow God the Father, they have every right to do so. If they want to be Catholic, they have a right to do so. If they want to be Jewish, they have a right to do so. But well, if they're Muslim, they can't. I believe in equality for all Americans, no matter if they're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. I think, without a doubt, one of the greatest presidents in the history of the United States was Abraham Lincoln. He believed in equality for all men and fought to free the slaves because I am totally appalled to anybody being somebody's slave. Lincoln was actually elected because he was a moderate, so he said uh, either all states abolish or all states have slavery. He just wanted unity. He, he, he wasn't like a crazy abolitionist. That's why he was elected, because he, he wasn't a radical. Let's try to stay like historically accurate here. Dr. Walker, um, would you vote for Jonathan the Impaler Sharkey? Would you? Why? He sucks on the necks of men and women. Um, he's a racist. He's a vampire. Oh, Lucifer and Heike. It's Hecate. Hecate. The one thing that troubles me about Barack Obama, because I grew, I live in Jersey, right? Elizabeth. And Elizabeth. Well, no, I grew up in Elizabeth. I actually live on an island. In Jersey, we even have islands. They think it's. You mean black people? No, I mean educated. White people. Oh, so white, white people are educated, not black people. You don't even have to say anything. If that's how you feel, you, you can feel however you well, want. Well, that's what you're projecting onto me. No, you're interpreting this however you want to interpret it. And why don't you tell them what we talked about earlier, about Barack Obama and the other thing? What was the other? Let me put it this way. First off, they put Jews, Jews in the oven. Now you want to put black people in the oven. No, actually, his mother was white, so you I actually. About his mama now? No. Yes, no, 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 I'm no, no, talking no, no, about no. his mother. His mother was no. white, is white, and I feel that children are actually baked in their mommy's bellies, you know. Mulattoes. And so, technically, what Mr. Barack Obama keeps forgetting to mention is that he's interracial. So, in other words, according to you, because his mother is black. White. Life doesn't escape. The no, his mother is stomach. white. You didn't know that Barack's mother was white? What are you asking? Do you know that Barack's mother is white? I'm not focused on Barack's mother. I'm focused on Barack. So in other words, if you have a white parent, white grandparent, white auntie, uncle, whatever, 
then you feel that they need to say that they have white blood in them. No, they need to be because honest that they are interracial. In other words, a black man can't possibly make it this far within this presidential race just being black. You want him, He's playing his you want him to say that he has white in him so people can accept, ah, that's why he's becoming some of the elite. That's why he's coming this far. So in other words, you don't think you're okay from that. I don't care where we came from. We're all people. What can he possibly bring to this country? What about impaling? What, what about impaling? Uh, impaling criminals. And he wants to impale OJ. He was found innocent in the court of law. He wants to impale black people, I'll tell you that much. So, besides Obama, that needs to be baked inside of an oven, just like I, I say, I say my kids were baked inside of an oven too. That's because you worship Lucifer. In the law, a I child who was is born according to the law, their mother's religion is the religion that they have to follow. Hecate law? Hecate. No. Hecate. 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 Do, do you know how stupid you will actually look if they were to play this with you mocking Hecate? He's probably bullied as a little kid. Yeah. He's insecure. I've never dealt with somebody as unprofessional as you are, especially somebody who calls himself to be a doctor. He's mad at the world. That's why he puts on black nail polish and he wears earrings, both ears. He's just... He's war. He has issues. For you to hate black people so much, you sure do wear a lot of it. Thank you. You know, you worship Satan, Lucifer, Lucifer, Hecatus, whatever. But all you want is another great deceiver. Just like people you worship. So yeah, I mean, you see me don't even know who the guy the Hecatay is. Hecatay, whatever his name is. Her. Her. Do we the goddess us? of slaughtering young children. His whole thing is black. He'll paint the White House black. He has issues like that. He's crazy. He's a retard. He doesn't deserve to walk on this earth. He's pathetic. He's filthy. He's an animal. Where's your cake at? Cloak. <laughs> What's the difference? A cape does not have a hood. A cloak does. What's your cloak at? My cloak is in that bag. Why aren't you wearing it? Because it's a ritual cloak. I do not always wear it. I personally think you were totally unprofessional. Ill-mannered. And that uh, you should be appalled by your behavior. Appalled? No, appalled. Mm. You know what that word means? Mm. Okay. I don't like your moccasins. I don't like your black fingernails. I don't like your name. I don't like the fact that you want to impale black people. I feel like you just don't represent the American dream. You're a devil worshiper, Hecate, Hectitus, Hecate. <laughs> Not very hard to say. Hecate. Educated man should be able to say that. Oh, so I didn't say that when I mean, okay. Spoke my piece. That's what I'm talking about.
Why are you so late getting off into the running? Oh no, I actually was filed in 2005. Hold on, let me get my boy in on this too and stuff, so. Oh no. Come on over here for a minute. He do it? Um, he, he's being a hand bump. All right, it's cool. He, he running for president of the United States. Hi, Jonathan the Impeller Sharky. Nice to meet you, sir. What's up with you? I'm all right. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, too. If we stood behind you and stuff, we're going to get them big jobs and stuff up there and stuff in the White House. I take care of everybody who wants to work. That's how I feel. Americans who want to work should be allowed to work. Well, old as I am, I'm still work. <laughs> <laughs> That's right after us. Hey, Take nice meeting you. Good luck. Thanks a lot, sir. All the best to y'all. I see you have a meatball son. Yes. How big is it? You get four meatballs. They're pretty, pretty decent sized meatballs, but it's about this long. And, it and has, they put mozzarella cheese on it. Absolutely. It's a mixture of mozzarella and provolone. Uh, I have it on the bottom it? and the top. Can I just have it with mozzarella or no? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Do it that way. That's fine. Okay, but you want but as food? appetizers, we'd like uh, ma sticks and garlic bread with cheese. Awesome. Well, I'm just saying, a lot of people have have a lot of issues with the friendship thing. They want to rush into a relationship and go, "I like you. I want to be with you." And boom, the next day you're dating, and I don't believe in that. I, really, I don't believe in that. I think you have to be friends first. And like I said. Before when we were yes, I know, I know. earlier, you know, I never dated a man. I've only dated females, and um, <laughs> oh, sorry, you're totally awake. I'm gazing at you. you the camera around. I'm the star. I get to do what I want. Ooh, young lady. You, you need to realize this. Ooh, sorry. I am sorry. I'm just so gassy today. Look, look, you're gonna make me keep burping. Stop, stop, you're gonna keep burping. It's like, do it again. Oh my god. It wouldn't be a problem. I just need his coat real quick and use. I have his coat. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Good go, champ. That was definitely louder than Rick. <laughs> He's cheesy. Boy, you, you're just a pretty person today. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of ch Oh, okay. Is it turning the oven? No, this is for you. This is for you. You got it. Hey Rick. What's up? Can you find out if they actually use like real garlic in this garlic bread? Man, I'm starting to feel like really sick. Are you like serious? There's a heart attack. Look at my face. It's getting flushed. I'm actually allergic to garlic, dude. You might have to take me to the hospital. Like, serious. Why oh, would you wear it? That fucking serious. Like, not. Garlic could kill me. Seriously. Johnson, how do you think the day went today? The day or the date? The date. How did the date. How, how well, well I don't go? know if I would technically call this a date since, you know, we're friends, but I enjoy being with Veronica and hopefully she enjoys being with me and... It was fun. Yes. I plan on pursuing Veronica. Vampire um, love. Vampire love. Yes. Alright. How does Veronica make you feel as of right now? Like I'm walking on clouds. I'm happy to finally meet Jonathan in person, you know, after talking on the phone for like the past, what, a month or so? And some. Six yeah. Months. Okay. Almost two months, you She know? contacted me first. So, I mean, it was nice and we got to talk and get to know each other a little bit better than just me doing the photos and stuff like that. I'm sure, um, Jonathan, you've had girls that have No, I just wanted to get totally castrated and sent her my penis and testicles in a bottle. That's really harsh. Yeah, well, you have no idea what this child did to me. Why would, why would that be harsh, though? Like, um, it's, it just hits home with me on a lot of certain bases. Jonathan, with all the women you've ever met, is Veronica number one? 
She's in the upper echelon, that's all I'll say. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna kick that back over to you. Is Jonathan is would you call all the guys that you have dated? Is he number one? Well, he would be the first guy, so um I mean he's very I find him very open and honest. So it was with women in the past. Yeah. Okay. Um, not, if I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not trying. But to I don't want to get into it though. You know, you and that stuff. ain't going in. So <laughs> that's fine. this is so, one of my stipulations. All right. So at one point you were bisexual, lesbian, Nick? No. So well, that's no, not necessarily. But it's a little bit too cold to get into that. Well, no, I don't wait. I'm just. I mean, we, can, we, can cut, like, we can cut. We can cut. Right. We can try just, to help me figure it out. Um, I uh, have recently going to. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Ballet Kenwood. No. And Ballet Kenwood is just a city outside of uh, Philadelphia. They do uh, a lot of surgeries. I've been having a lot of surgeries. Um, I had uh, breast implants. I had uh, facial feminization surgery because right now I'm waiting for my transgender. So you want to become a guy? No, I once was a guy. This is not getting We're gonna chop that. I don't want it in the documentary. Total shock and awe. Um, finding out that Veronica was a man. Did not see it coming at all. Uh, when she signed the contracts with us, everything was female. As you can see, I'm at a loss for words. But Jonathan, don't pick up people from MySpace because they might be guys. Dude, what's wrong? I think, oh, I, we, uh, we, we swapped the spit, man. We, we were making out. Did you know that she was no, man, I didn't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, is he fucking Is America ready for a vampire president? I'll ask the bloodsucker myself. He's a Satanist, pro boxer, and wrestler. And that sounds like the background you need to run for president. And he's doing exactly that. But not as a Republican or Democrat. He founded the Vampires, Witches, and Pagans Party. And it's officially recognized by the U.S. Federal Election Committee. Let's talk about his political platform. Joining us is Jonathan the Impaler Sharkey. He knows Satan like I know Satan. Hi, John. Hey, how are you, brother? What's going on? Not much. Now, you're the founder of the Vampires, Witches, and Pagans Party. Now, do you feel these folks are underrepresented, underrepresented in American politics? They're underrepresented totally. You yeah. know, America became the land of the free because our founding fathers got tired of the British control and, you know, the way religion was forced upon them. Mm -hmm. Wiccans, pagans... Satanists, lichens, vampires, all have a right to believe the way they want under the U.S. Constitution. However, the Bush administration and other administrations do not allow them to do that. So I formed the VWP party, mm. so vampires, witches, and pagans, and other kins of our community would have a political now, voice. Now, do you think America is ready for a satanic, vampiric, paganistic president? Because, you know, Kennedy had problems being a Catholic. Mm. <laughs> Well, you got to think about this. You got Obama running, and he's, you know, truthfully a Muslim. I mean, you never see the man put his hand over his heart for the mm -hmm. Pledge of Allegiance. When he got sworn in in Illinois, he didn't put his hand on a holy Bible. Granted, when I get sworn in, I'm going to use the Satanic Bible, but at least I'm using some type of Bible. You got to have some. But, the Satanic Bible, I hear, is excellent. Now, if you became president, what would be on your political agenda? Being a vampire, I assume it would be a ban on garlic. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, there there would be no Van Helsing pizzerias while I was president. I, that, that, that'd be done. You know. now, and as Van a, Helsing can't have any pizzerias. Now, as a vampire, I have to. You're also a wrestler. How do you apply makeup to a face if you have no reflection? 
That's a Hollywood myth, my friend. Oh, you, really? As you can see, I'm on your I'm on your show right now. Yeah, I can see you. I can see you. So you don't turn into a bat because I would think that would save on gas and could be the solution to our I oil wish crisis. I could. You know, I'm part witch too. I got to learn how to fly a broom because the Bush administration. You know, they're going to make gas prices so high that even bats can't fly that Wait. high. Now, Jim, you have a quick question. Yes, I do. Um, were you surprised how long of a hit your career took after you released Bat Out of Hell? <laughs> No, sorry, you're thinking meatloaf. I'm signed with Dean Guitars. Go I'm with actually, I, I'm in the process of doing my first original album. So I'm signed with Dean Guitars. I'm endorsed and sponsored artist with them. And my first solo song, which is on my music page, it's called Psychedelic Spree. Mm. It's definitely heavy metal. Meatloaf couldn't compare to me. Now, let me ask you, I did listen to some of your music, and, you, and I, I heard some of your Elvis Presley uh, covers. I found them quite impressive. Now, do you sleep in a coffin, and is it posturpedic? <laughs> Um, no, but I actually uh, have a deal with also coffin cases. So, oh, really? You know, I mean, you got to feel bad for my representative at Dean Guitars, Josh. I drive this boy crazy. Uh, I drive now, him bad. Where, um, where do you get your blood? Because you drink blood, so where do you get it? Yes, um, usually when I'm dating a female, I usually <laughs> feed on her neck or on her arm. That's uh, lovely. I also have my own connections to like blood banks and stuff, believe it or not. Oh, so I didn't know blood banks actually did that. I guess if you pay them enough, you could just go in there and get a mm -hmm. withdrawal. Now I'm on the I'm on the Atkins diet. Does that prevent me from sucking blood? Are you a vampire? Um, no, but I am thinking of switching because I like the fashion well, sense. <laughs> Well, let's put it this way. If, if you're going to become a vampire, you're in New York because I'm part of the New York vampire community. Mm. I belong to the Court of Lazarus. I could hook you up with a beautiful female vampire who will turn you. Excellent. Wow. Now, you know what's amazing? You're not just a vampire and a pagan. You're also the queen of all witches. And I, th well, I'm not the queen of all witches. Where in the world did you get that? I think I read I it on you. the goddess no. Hecate, who is the queen of witches. I got... Uh, get it's, the story straight, guys. Come I'm on, so on. sorry. Don't, don't I'll like fire Parker my Carlson intern immediately. I'll fire... But you also work for MAD. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Right. I, I'm a strong believer in protecting innocent people mm -hmm. from those who drive under the influence of drugs and alcohol. That's one crime that's very easy to be prevented. People do not need to get into their car behind the wheel of their car when they're impaired by drugs and alcohol. Just out of their own stupidity and selfishness do they do that. Yeah, That's a brave I mean, stance. <laughs> See, I, I personally believe that terrorists and certain criminals should get the stake, not oh, the vampires get in the stake, oh. but you know, terrorists, <laughs> people that rape women, molest children, uh, take advantage of the elderly. I hate sell that. Sell hardcore drugs. Hey, I tried that. I, I don't have much. I, I should uh, give them a steak for dinner. There you go. You got a steak. I got one more question on your website. You list as one of your favorite movies, The Titanic. Correct. Yeah. Now, is it, do you have a thing for Leo DiCaprio? No, nah, I was actually on Titanic. You know, I'm a vampire. I'm 662 years old. Oh, interesting. I didn't know, Jonathan, we got to go. Thanks for the best of luck with your uh, blood sucking and being undead and, and finding hot chicks to suck blood. It sounds like a great life, and I'm sitting here in New York. All I do is I have a glass of wine. I smoke a cigarette here and there. I pass out in front of porn. You got the life. I got to go, Jonathan. Thank you. I'm for the vampires. I believe you. I believe you. Vampires, pagans, and witches. Yep. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> this whole thing's becoming a campaign in the ass. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, Jonathan Sharkey. No, he's not here. Uh, so, just to clarify for the record, Obama is a Christian and he did get sworn in with the Bible, and in fact, it was his own Bible. Mm. Oh. I had a feeling he was so. full of crap. Are you saying yeah. the vampire lied? Uh, that's just that's a, that's an especially pernicious lie, as they what say in the business. What do you expect from the undead, Bill? Oh, man. <laughs> Well, they don't have to worry about going to hell. He certainly is a vampire. He sucked the fun out of this show. <laughs> Do you think millions of people will come to listen to your music? Yes. We are shooting a documentary on Jonathan the Impaler Sharkey, who's running for the presidency of the United States in 2008. Please uh, welcome Jonathan. The Impaler Shocker! So here we go. I don't know if it's going to be as perfect as it is on the CD, but we'll try. <laughs>
So I actually wrote this song called Bush Monkey. Now, when I wrote it, and even have performed it already, actually I'm not supposed to play on it. Because in concert, what I do is when I put on the tail and stake, I impale a mannequin of a bush monkey. think of him uh yeah he was really great man i mean he was like he had funny songs you know with the oj song it was like he could really play the guitar it was it was awesome i like i loved it so you know in compare and contrast well um <laughs> like kindergarten versus uh freshman year of college maybe the second guy there was pretty good you know i mean they had some good songs and they were funny uh, the jonathan guy is is on don't something's something's fucked there. Well, so you know he's running for president in 2012. Yeah, well, that's, that's pretty fucked up. So he has your vote? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No? <laughs> I'll be surprised if he gets more than a few. Yeah. Nothing up my sleeve. Nothing up, bro. Not enough her sleeve. Nothing up my sleeve. Okay. Except an arm. There's now, an arm there. You know, I mean, it's going to hurt a little bit. You know. All right. Okay. He did draw blood. Whoa, the boy whoa, has whoa, 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 whoa,
Okay, boy. That didn't hurt at all. I'm a professional. Hold on. You, Am I better than him? It didn't hurt at all. That was amazing. I just got dizzy. I don't know. A few days after the interview with you, Jonathan did feed on somebody uh, at a bar called Ooh. Hotties. Um, well, her, her Hotties sounds like a white trash bar. The person was female. And Jonathan fed off her, no questions asked. He fed off her. What the fuck? All right. No, no biting. My wife is going to be so pissed. Yeah, now you guys, you have your little freeway. Like my car? I love your car. Hey, tell Jonathan I'm gonna hit it twice for him. <laughs> this is for Allah! No. No. Are they gone? Oh, they're gone. Tell me who you're firing. Both of them. Now, who's both? Just so the camera knows. Um, Veronica and Neil. Nick. Nick. And why are you firing them? You know, they're both disrespecting me. And how are they disrespecting you? I, this is camera. People have because to Nick's already said it. You know, he's trying to get laid and he knows I have interest in Veronica. Veronica, pick up your phone. I will try calling you back in one minute. Bye. I don't know about Veronica, but will you fire Nick in person? Yes. No, I'm going to fire them both now. I don't want to see either one of them. Okay. This is bullshit. You know, she's playing me like a fuck from hell. She Tom. didn't even do this shit to me. Dick. Up your phone. Jonathan, if you'd like, I'll give them the message. No, I will do it. I am the, you know, I'm the star. I understand, but you can't call them like 30 times. Screwed up. Now I'm going to fire someone in the time. I left the message for her to pick up. Now I'll just leave the message for her to do it. Okay, and how many times do you plan on calling Oh, this will be it. Yeah. Okay. And I better not see Nick tomorrow or what you got is what you got. Okay. Well, I choose you over Nick. It's as simple as that. And I don't want to see her either. And she's done. Kermit. Veronica, this is Jonathan. I thought we'd resolve this problem with you doing things to make me jealous or upset me yesterday. Nick, on the way here, was even telling... Richard, that he wanted to fuck Richard's girlfriend, that he's trying to get with. Since you have no respect for my feelings, you and Nick are both fired. You are terminated. You are fired. I do not want to see either one of you. Additionally, do not be thinking you're going to get Social Security disability because I promise you Tuesday morning I will call somebody in Maryland at the head of Social Security and I will make sure they know you're working when you say you can't. And I will use my political influence to make your life a living nightmare. Like I told you, you break my heart, I destroy your life. Have a nice day. Do not contact me if you do not give Richard the pictures that you have taken of me per your agreement. I will tie you up in litigation until you are old and gray, and you will be working for me for the rest of your life because you will not be able to get SSI disability. I promise you this after Tuesday. I am a United States presidential candidate, but foremost, I am a vampire elder. You are a vampire. I will see you before the tribunal. Jonathan fired Nick, but that wasn't all. He wanted to have his revenge. Uh, Jonathan, you, I mean, dude, last chance at Bella. Are you sure you want to do this? You don't know about Satanism, dude. Well, I'm just saying, dude. I mean, you're going to piss off a religion, is what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. Curse them? Now, I mean, you can uh, go ahead and do the pentagram. He, he can. What's that? Need that shoe. All right, just give me a second.
Now explain what you're doing here, John. I am drawing a satanic pentagram on what is supposed to be a Muslim religious prayer cloth or rug, actually. Now, what are some of these? They look like designs or writings? Is that what that is? Yeah, that, according to my seer and my second in command of the death dealers, these are religious inscriptions. What is uh, the symbol that you're drawing? What does that actually mean? Um, it's kind of the reverse of the... Technically, it's an upside-down Wiccan pagan pentagram, technically. This uh, mat, this belonged to Nick, correct? Yes. And he, left, and he left it in my car. And I took it last night from your car. And why did you take it from him? Because he... I am tired of his behavior. I'm tired that, you know, he gets, you know, all neurotic if you say one thing against Allah. Well, Allah is a bitch. Anyone who follows Allah, you're a bitch. You're worthless. You're pathetic. Your God is not even a real God. I hate the Muslims. They like burning our American flag. Well, Finally, an American's gonna get to burn one of the symbols of their most sacred religious beliefs. All right. And the flames of Hades, the payback they deserve. They blame the whole Muslim nation for this. But isn't it a hate crime to hate Muslims? They hate us. Not they all of them. They protest against us. There's, I mean... Why'd you do that? After offending one-third of the Earth's population by burning my mother's doormat... I'm sorry, Mom. I'll get you another one. I promise. Jonathan decides to reward himself with a sled ride. Yeah, well, I don't remember in my contract it's saying about stunts. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Hey, you stayed on the board this time! Jonathan had a big day coming up at the coffee shop. He was going to be doing a speech, and after that it was going to be a QA. and a um, called a lot of people to show up because no one showed up at Hotties. I wanted to make sure that this was different. The house that represents honesty is not for an infidel who wants to murder innocent children. America is not for infidels. America is not for infidels. America is not for infidels. Praise Allah! As you know, Rick told you that, uh, you're, that John Sharkey stole your mat and actually burned it. What, what, how does that make you feel? And what, what's well, that's why I'm here today. I'm here to protest that man. He, must, he might not like Islam, and he might hate me personally, but to burn such an artifact of such religious importance, it is too much, too much. And that is why we're here today, to stop this man. He's a madman, and you all know it. 
Well, you did steal his girlfriend. I did not steal his girlfriend. She wanted to go home with me because certain issues he was having. Big, okay. big issues? Not very big. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! No infidels in the White House! No infidels in the White House! No infidels in the White House! You think you can burn my mat? You think you can do that? You think you can disrespect my culture and my religion and get away with it? Oh, you be careful. This movie will never see the light of day, right? And then you think you can fire me? You think you can fire me? No infidels in the White House! No infidels in the White House! No infidels in the White House! No infidels in the White no House! What are you gonna call what? What are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? <laughs> Yeah, hi, this is Jonathan Sharkey. Um, I'm the BWP Party's 2008 presidential candidate. I've been dealing with Darren Zellis. And Agent Zellis said if there's ever a major situation to give him a call, because of all the death threats I get and stuff. I've already told Zellis if somebody attacks me, he already knows with my reputation that I'll snap the person's neck like a toothpick. I'm actually in um, Cleveland, and he was supposed to notify Akron Secret Service about all the death threats I've been getting like from the Muslims and stuff because even the Federal Election Commission knows about it. I mean the place has already called the cops asking them to remove these people but you know the cops said there's nothing we can do about it. Looks fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Phoenix Cafe. Okay are you ready? Is this? Uh, actually um, could you not drink? the beer while we're doing this. Uh, what, do you want me to turn a label back? Would that help? Can I, can I just put it down close to the chair? These are cold. I could go get some more. I mean, I, let's, let's just I just, Hey, I got my license back. It's cool. Uh, my name's Tim Eads. I've been the uh, head anchor uh, covering special interest in the Cleveland area for Channel 6 WGDB. Uh, prior to that, uh, this actually, uh, I didn't mention this, but uh, I was in AA. I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict, and actually stumbled on this uh, career path as part of my 12-step 12, uh, 12 program. And I think it's worked pretty good. Uh, I My drinking is way down, and there's days, some days I don't even drink at all. And I just appreciate this opportunity, and it's, it's really, it's brought out a side of me I, I wasn't aware I had. I have like six DUIs and, I mean, look at me now. I mean, this, you know, I couldn't have, I mean, six years ago, I couldn't even afford a suit from Jason Penny. I've got four of them now. Think we get another beer before we move on? Tonight, we're gonna, I'd love to introduce a candidate that's finally working for the man to you know, move the country forward and put it back in the hands of the working man. He's going to throw the lobbyists out. I would love to introduce a man of high moral fiber, but instead, tonight, we're going to talk to Jonathan the Evolver Sharky. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, the Impaler. Greetings, my fellow Americans. Throughout history, there have been many triumphs and many agonies. The surface of our world has changed shapes in many aspects. People kill people for gain. The codes have been torn apart, and people thus have tightened the ropes imposed upon us by the government around our necks like nooses. It is the most controlled society to even be in any history of this world. We, are we can arise against this using the fire of Prometheus, the dark light of Lucifer, and the lessons from the militant Satan, along with the compassion of the true Jesus and the strength of our own will to overcome evil. For I am your Prometheus. Thank you very much for your time and for being here tonight. 
And if anybody has questions, let's talk. Deja Walker. Excuse me. My question for you is, during your uh, speech, you mentioned how we should have united one race. Um, you mentioned slavery often in your discourse. But in researching your campaign, you want to impel O.J. Simpson. Correct. And I, I can't understand why somebody as American as you are wearing a t-shirt. It's not a t-shirt, it's a polo shirt. Well, one of, Don't worry, Tucker Carlson got it wrong too. Well, one of the impel a black man who was found innocent. He was not found innocent, law. he was found guilty in the civil trial. Innocent. You guys tried him again. And I don't understand why the judicial you system. would want to impel him. It seems to me as if you have a racial issue. Thank you. Excellent question. Are you one of these black people that have a hatred towards white people? Are you a racist? You didn't answer my question. A lot of your platform has been based on impalement. Correct. Uh, don't you think that's been kind of, pardon the pun, done to death over the years? How would your impalements be different? On behalf of a lot of my friends that are still in the military. Right. Kind of like wondering the same thing about this gentleman, about his, his beliefs. About, I, as you can probably imagine, military, they don't make a lot of money. My question being, a lot of these guys, they go overseas, they go to Iraq, they go to Iran, they go to Afghanistan. They're making buku bucks over there. They're you mean as civilians? Or no, as Marines. They make a contract pay, they hazard pay, 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 yes. pay. If they work the flight deck, they get Absolutely. Deck pay. Yeah, it's hazardous duty. They're loving life over there. What would you as president do to keep them, to keep the military machine going? Being a vampire, the standard belief is you, you can't walk in the daylight. That's Hollywood standard. Oh, okay. You, you can't, you know, cross bothers you. No, I'm wearing one right now. Oh, okay. I don't like holy water. You throw holy water on me, we're going to have a problem. Okay, anyone else? Mr. Sharkey. It's actually a doctor. Dr. Sharkey. I'm also ordained, so it would be, you know. Dr. Ordained Sharkey, I'm sorry. Um, you know, we have this issue with uh, aliens crossing the border and all kinds of Chinese people also coming in loving. And I wanted to know, how are you going to secure our borders? As far as the Mexicans are concerned, I will put up... Latin Americans. What are your impalable acts? Take it and run with it. If a man rapes a woman, he will be impaled. OJ's not a raper. If a man kills a woman, he will be impaled. If a man even abuses a woman because of being pagan, a white woman, I don't care if they're white or black, Hispanic or whatever, if they're an American and a man lays a hand on her in violence, he will deal with me because to me women are goddesses. Also, drug dealers, especially if you sell to children, I will also legalize prostitution. I will impale somebody for molesting a child. Okay. I will also impale for religious discrimination. If somebody picks on a Catholic, because they're Catholic, I will impale them for that. If somebody picks on a pagan and says, burn the witches, they will be impaled for that. Saying burn the witches is one thing. Burning the witches is something totally different. Saying burn the witches. But still, that's an act of discrimination it's an act against of discrimination, the nation. But it's also an act of freedom of speech, though. No president is above I, the Constitution. I, right, but the First Amendment protects witches and witchcraft. The U.S. Supreme Court even ruled that in 1965. Because people say dumb stuff all the time. I mean, people say... Well, some, what if some, some people use says, the N-word against African Americans, is that right? What you call me? Now, to beat the crap out of somebody or to impale them, I mean, come on, you got to admit the guys on the bikes knocking on your door on Saturday afternoon. They're a little annoying. Yeah, they are. You got to come on. But anyhow, I'm really, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I got a shot to be president. <laughs> Republican or Democrat or independent? Uh, I'm thinking about making one up. It's working for you. <laughs> okay, another question here. Earlier, uh, veteran had asked you about what do you think about uh, troops overseas. I'm going to bring them back. I said that. I understand that. But Mr. Ordain, uh, PhD Sharkey, I don't think you 
brought a lot of thought to that. Um, How many years do you have? For everywhere that, for all the places that we're at, such as Korea, Germany, Japan, sure even, we might be in little pockets of countries within Africa. Don't you think that as soon as we pull out, war is going to start all over it's the place? It's not my problem. It is your problem. No, it's not. It's going to become our problem. No, it won't. Disease is spread, Mr. Shahi. No. According to you, you say we all need to be one united race. Correct. You're going against what you just said. No, I'm not. How am I saying that? I'm saying all our people need to be back here and not policing the borders of other countries. Our people, like white people. No. What about us? Our what about minorities? You know, some of my best friends when I was on Our active duty, sure. yes. They were. I've heard that before. Whatever. He hates black people. Anytime you hear somebody say, oh, some of my best friends are black, that's automatically so black. He hates Negroes. He hates them all. As, as a member of the LGBT community, I feel that politically speaking, my goals or desires are, are pretty reasonable. My question is, why are you trying to sabotage the gay rights movement by uh, associating it with Satanism and vampirism? I mean, don't we get enough as it is? Good question. Your people here may disagree with my beliefs, mm -hmm. but there are many in the gay community, especially on the East Coast, that support my beliefs and say it is pretty pitiful that it's taking a satanic dark priest to give them the rights and the benefits they deserve. I just mean if, if GM supported gay rights, that would be, I think, helpful. Do you think you're the Antichrist? If you cross me, I will destroy you. I have, I have That's no not democratic. That's not democratic. That's not democratic. That's not democratic. That's not democratic. I don't mean to interrupt. Let's let him say, you know, we don't have to buy into it, but it is his right to say. Okay. I do have a question. You said earlier you don't like dictatorships. What's the distinction? I don't dabble into politics. Yeah. I'm What's not going to tell somebody what to do, but if you come wow. after me, if that you attack me, if you cross me, everybody knows you cross Donald Trump, he'll destroy you. This is a court of Yeah, but he's not going to impale you. You're Define the cross. Judge and impale. You know, you, you're going to get fired, not impaled. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I have no problem. I've actually already fired a few people on this crew. Not many people even go against me for the part with the elderly. You're going to impale the elderly? Yes. I don't want my grandma driving either. And, uh, some woman just came up to you and let you suck her blood. Right, but she also... Doesn't like, that make you like a blood-sucking whore? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, you're a well, slut. I'm part of my language. Let me I mean, if you'll take it from anybody... No, I will not take it from anybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let, uh, let's close. Uh, I don't suppose you'd love to close with a prayer, would you? Lord, as we gather here today, I would pray that you, O oh, powerful Lord, Lord of all lords, mightiest of mighty, would look over everyone. I've enjoyed the fellowship here with Jonathan. Uh, I would hope that you would help him see the error of his ways, but yet give him strength for this journey he's taking towards November. Uh, I would also pray that you would look out after everyone in the audience and see them home safely and protect them in any endeavor they may have. You, mightiest of almighty, amen. Thank you very much. Do you think, Jonathan, uh, do you think the prayer helped him? Do you think God touched his heart? Oh, fuck no. He's done for. You know, I would like to say that the Q&A went well, but I'd be lying. Just like... Every other politician in office today, Jonathan avoided answering any question in a coherent fashion. You think it was a protester that put it there? Since it's just I don't know. It's that wacko guy from the uh, concert that you know I, I said hello to him and he ran out. He, he, you know, he's a little mental irregular. So the vampire hunter comes back, and he puts a doll right down on the table, and this doll looks just like Jonathan, and. Even though it may not translate well on film, Jonathan was upset. He was terrified. Jonathan, how did you think the Q&A went today, or tonight? It was great. It was a lot better than uh, the session that I had with those two people uh, at the library. Um, nobody really asked any stupid questions, so it was very informative, I hope, to the people that were here. 
Do you think any of them will vote for you? Yes. The high point and the low point of today's Q&A. Beautiful girls, the high point. Okay, high <clears throat> point? Low point was um, that some people were worried about outside influence, like one Nick Hassan, who actually I found out through <clears throat> my seer that he totally disrespected Allah from even being involved with this production because according to the Muslim belief, you are not supposed to affiliate in any shape or form with a Satanist, a vampire, a witch, but yet <clears throat> he was, he did. Allah is very upset with Nick right now. As, as, far, as, uh, as far as the turnout, and the, and the diversity of people that showed up, um, you know, what, what, what do you I'm think? I'm used to bigger crowds, but this was acceptable. Rock and roll, baby! At this point in production, Jonathan thinks we're done filming. He thinks it's complete. But I just couldn't help myself. I had to do one more thing. How much time do you have? Plenty. The scene you're about to see was supposed to be this epic battle between Jonathan and the vampire hunter. Jonathan, you know, defends himself by trying to bite the vampire hunter's neck. You have the vampire hunter throwing, you know, holy water, maybe taking out his whips, spanking him across his ass. It's supposed to be total crazy madness. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. License plate! Get the license plate! As you can see, Jonathan didn't get out of the car. You know, I asked him later, you know, dude, why didn't you help out? Why didn't you get out there, kick that guy's ass? Better yet, why didn't your death dealers, who are always ever watching, leap out of the bushes and, you know, tackle this guy? Get the tapes back. The truth is, he won't ever admit it, but he was scared. He was scared shitless. Do you know that guy? That's the guy who's been at our shows. After six days of Jonathan's hard work and determination, the vampire hunter came and stole the tapes. Jonathan lost it. He walked off because he believes that there is no longer a movie to be made. Or so he thinks. Jonathan Sharkey says he's a presidential candidate, a former wrestler, and a vampire. Tonight, he's in jail, charged with threatening the president and a court official. News Channel 5's Eric White just returned from Grundy County, where he talked with investigators about this bizarre case. Rory, Jonathan Sharkey faces felony charges in Minnesota and Indiana. Neighbors say Sharkey showed up this summer. Since that time, he's left a lasting impression. Just average type Joe. You know, just nice, very polite, never said a cuss word or anything. When word spread that Sharky wanted to turn this plot of land into a commune for fellow vampires, neighbor Don Campman knew trouble was brewing. These people up here are very, you know, religious and they don't want change and vampires they don't need. On Saturday, local law enforcement arrested Sharky for felony warrants in Minnesota and Indiana. The charges include making threats against the President of the United States and an Indiana judge. Grundy County Sheriff's investigators may never know why Sharkey moved into their county. But with the information they've gathered so far, they've come to at least one conclusion. In my 18 years on top of the mountain, one of the most bizarre that we've, that we've dealt with. When investigators arrested Sharkey, 
they confiscated two rifles and this wooden stake with steel spikes. For neighbors? It's just been kind of a mess, and of course, we're kind of caught in the middle. <laughs> you know, we sold the place to him, and it's just causing more trouble for me and my other neighbors, and uh, I wish I hadn't sold it to him now. While in jail, someone set fire to a piece of Sharkey's property. Grundy County investigators say so far they have no suspects.